In this video, we're going to be looking at congruent triangles. Now, what does congruent mean? Congruent means exactly the same. So, in this topic, you'll be faced with problems where you have to prove two triangles are congruent. And there's many ways you can do that. You may have done the topic on similar triangles. Now, the difference between the two is, with similar triangles, they have all the same angles, but different sizes. But with congruency, we're looking at exactly the same, be it angles and sides. Okay, so let's look at the many ways of showing two triangles are congruent. So here's our first rule, side, angle, side. If you have two triangles and you've managed to show that a side followed by an angle followed by a side is the same in both, they must be congruent. So here we have two triangles, ABC and DEF. Okay, let's see if we've got side angle side, of course. AC is the same as ED. Then we have the angle, and how do we refer to angle? We can say CAB. Of course, you could also say BAC. So angle BAC is the same as angle DEF. And lastly, we have AB is the same as EF. So we've shown that a side an angle and a side is the same in both triangles and it's important that the angle which we've proven is the same is between those two sides since we've managed to do that these two triangles must be congruent it's not possible that the remaining side is different on both so we've proven that two tri these two triangles are congruent let's look at another way of showing that two triangles are congruent so this method of proving two triangles are congruent is called side, side, side. Now, if you've managed to show that three sides are the same in two triangles, they cannot possibly be two different triangles. So you've hence shown that they are congruent. So here we've got AB is the same as DE. BC is the same as EF and AC is the same as DF. So we have shown that three sides are the same, therefore these two triangles must be congruent. So in this rule we've got angle, side, angle, ASA. So here you can see that you have angle ABC is the same as angle DEF. Then you have side BC is the same as side E F and lastly you have angles B C A is the same as angles E F D so we have shown that an angle side followed by an angle is the same therefore these triangles must be congruent in this question we need to show that triangles A B C and BDE are congruent. We are told that CBEF is a parallelogram, and we're also told that B is the midpoint of AD, E is the midpoint of DF, and C is the midpoint of AF. Right, in this question, you could use all three methods. So I'm going to use one of the methods, and you can try out the other two methods for practice. Okay, so let's start. So since B is the midpoint of AD, therefore AB must be the same as BD. Next step. CB is the same as EF because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram. Then we can also say that EF must be the same as ED because E is the midpoint of FD. Hence, CB must be the same as ED. And we've shown the second side is also the same on both triangles. Next step, we can say that AC must be the same as CF, as C is the midpoint of AF. Also, CF is the same as BE 
because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram, which means AC is the same as BE. And now we've shown all three sides are the same. Therefore, using the rule of side, 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 these two triangles must be congruent. Now, since we've got parallel sides involved here, I'd like you to try this question again with SAS and also try it with ASA. So you're going to know, so you're going to need your angle rules. Just a little hint for you, there's a lot of corresponding angles going on here. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.